Well, good day, folks. NB Wildman here again. Another quick little tutorial here on a great paste bait that uh, that I use for mink and muskrat. Trapping season coming right up here in my area. Uh, October 19th, we can get in the water for mink and muskrat. One of my favorite sets is to use a pipe set uh, or a little, um, like a pocket set, but I use a, a PVC pipe to do it. Um, the paste bait that I use specifically for mink and muskrat uh, is what I'm going to show you here today. It's pretty quick, pretty easy, and really, really effective. Um, start out with just a dollar store can of uh, sardines. Just get these at the, put the juice and everything right in there. Just buy these at the dollar store, they're cheap. <clears throat> Okay, put that in there, break it up a little bit. You don't have to be too too fussy, just break it up into some, some chunks. Alright. Next uh, is oysters. Get these just at the grocery store. They're less than two dollars for um, fancy smoked oysters. Again, just dump the whole can right in there. Everything that's in the can. Get them open. Okay, so you want to mix that up a little bit. Switch it around. The idea here is that you get a paste and that um, when you're all done, it should be a lot like Play Doh when you're finished. And you use these pipe sets. You want to be able to, to uh, smush, it, smush it into the end of the pipe and have it stay there. It shouldn't be runny or liquidy, but it also shouldn't be chunky and get dry and fall out. So there is a balance with what you have to have. So just mix it up a little bit. should be starting to look a little bit like cat food. Next up, uh, a can of uh, chub mackerel. Again, I just get these at the grocery store. They're right around a dollar can. It's a dollar nineteen, not too bad. So I mean, by now I've got the bulk of my ingredients in here, and I've got you know three dollars spent. So I'm gonna put the whole contents of the can in as well, liquid everything. Dump it right in. And you want to squish that around. I see right now you got a lot of liquid and a lot of uh, a lot of seafood, a lot of a lot of fish smell. Okay, so you basically have that. Now we get into the good stuff. So you're going to put uh, two tablespoons or two spoons of regular canola oil into your mixture. What this is going to do is this is going to help to waterproof your bait. It's going to help it to uh, stay moist and it's going to help it when it rains on it to stay still good and it won't wash away as much. Okay, stir that in. I like to stir my bait and crush it up after each step of the process. I don't know that that's absolutely necessary, but for me it certainly seems to mix everything well and to get, to get you want to get the smell and the bait evenly distributed. You don't want some part of your bait stronger or, or weaker than others. Okay? Next up, two tablespoons of shellfish oil. I buy mine at Dakota Line. It's the only spot around here I can seem to get it. Two tablespoons of shellfish oil, and we are almost done. Stir that one in. By now you've got quite the smell coming from this uh, container. Do you have a weak stomach? Watch out for this one. Okay, so you've got this consistency. Now to make my paste, all I start doing is adding regular household multipurpose flour and stirring it in as we go. This is where it kind of gets to be up to you and to what you like to do with your sets and how you like to use them. For me, I particularly like almost a play-doh or cookie dough consistency of my paste. Some people like it a little runnier than others. It's entirely up to you, your preference. 
What this will do, however, is this will take a pile of mink and muskrat in the water, especially in your water-based sets. You're also going to take a fair amount of raccoon with this, so if you're trapping in an area where you, you know there's raccoon and you don't want them, this may not be the paste for you. If you do want raccoon, this is certainly going to, going to take a few. Um, I have a great raccoon bait also posted on, um, on YouTube, so if you want to look at a, a different bait for raccoon, it's on my uh, channel as well. But this one is the one I use if I want to get the mink and the muskrat. The other bait will take mink and muskrat, but it's predominantly a raccoon bait because it's got that sweet licorice smell to it. This one here specifically, mink and muskrat. Although you will catch raccoons on it. Now this bait, they will smell a long ways away. You don't need to use a lot of it. And that's just about the consistency that I like to have this bait right here. Maybe a little bit more flour. No, no, this is pretty good here once you get it mixed in. Okay. And that's basically it. So again, all I use a couple tablespoons, a couple, couple of tablespoons of canola oil, two tablespoons of shellfish oil, a cup of multi-purpose flour, can of mackerel, can of oysters, and one can of sardines. Mix it all together, crush it all around good, and then when I'm using my pipe sets or my pocket sets along the sides of the banks or streams, I just take just a little bit of this. And I mean a little bit, it doesn't take much. Um, I would say, when I'm making my sets, that much bait's what I'm using. Just a little tiny spoonful on the end of the pipe. And I'll get a, I'll get a video up soon on my pipe sets that I use. It's kind of a secret, secret set, but I'll, uh, I'll get it up. And uh, Anyway, there it is. There's your paste bait for mink and muskrat. So, if you want to uh, take some fur this year, uh, give that bait a try, and let me know how you make out. This is NB Wildman once again, signing off, and if uh, this helped you out, give us a like, send us a comment, subscribe to the channel for more great hunting, trapping, shooting videos.